She's a KB body girl. This is her body. Um, she works really hard for it. So this is a high plank. So now she's going to go into a low plank or sphinx plank. Um, there's no real difference here um, in terms of planks. People have a preference. So I personally prefer this plank. You might prefer a different one. But again, it's a basic plank. What you want to make sure in both versions is that your, um, your shoulders and your elbows are completely in line. And this is your low plank. And now she's going to do the new thing. This is cool. OK, share this with friends. Tell them all about it. You can take credit for it if you want. This is seriously awesome, is the extended plank. She's going to push her body back, and that's where she is, and that is five, four, three, two, one, time the extended plank. Another thing she might do if she's having a hard time with a plank is bend her knees. So she's going to bend her knees. Now, those of you ladies that are just starting out with us, um, and like I said, it's really hard to hold a plank for a minute, 30 seconds, wherever you are right now is where you are. And um, instead of just collapsing down and saying, oh my gosh, I can't do this anymore, I'm done, and you can't hold your plank any longer, just bend the knees and sustain this motion. So there's always um, a way to keep working and keep um, working at your own success. So I'm gonna let her rest for a second. Awesome, time, beautiful. Use Alex real quick, so she's gonna get down into a plank. And um, again, like I said, high plank, always make sure that your wrists, elbows, shoulders are in line, your belly button's pulled to your spine. Mentally, you do want to pull your heels back to the wall and you want to make sure that everything feels good. So Alex is going to do the worst thing possible. She's gonna hang through her plank, so make it look real bad. Like, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. So she's gonna hang through. This is not a plank. No, come back to regular plank. And then there's this kind of resting plank, we call it, where you're just like coming up. And this, my friends, is not a plank. It might look really nice at the gym. If you're trying to get a phone number, this is good stuff. But this is not a plank. So make sure that your plank does not look like this. Once it starts to hang through, what does Alex do? She bends her knees. Oh, and all of a sudden, she's still in the game. She's still working with us. Her abs are still engaged. Everything still feels really good. So we're going to use the side plank today as well. And the most important thing for me, um, and if you're incorporating this into your scorch or a body series, is to make sure that this, this guy's coming forward. So a lot of you guys do it incorrectly, and you place your arm right here. It causes so much stress on the shoulder. I don't even want to make her do that. Um, you can rest, buddy. And um, I like her rest. Her rest is really good. She's resting in a plank. Um, so I want you to make sure that when you're doing this, your elbow's not, um, your arm's not rotated out because it's gonna put a lot of stress on the elbow. One more time, she's gonna come into side plank real quick. Yeah, facing this way. Um, you know you failed at your side plank once your ankle touches the floor. So once your ankle starts to touch the floor, eh, it's done, it's over with. So please make sure that to engage this, you're literally pushing through here. So we had quite a few variations here of planking. Um, again, just very briefly and very quickly, because this is important to me, I want to make sure that the workouts are something that anyone can do. So if you're super advanced, this is going to be hard, because the extended plank is something you've never seen before. And if you have, the way we're going to progress this in is going to be really challenging. But if you're new, you're not going to do the extended plank. And again, your modified might be right here. If you feel a little bit better, then you might start to come out this way with your modified version. And if you're extremely new, you just bring one knee, make sure everything is still in line, and you just reach up this way. So there's never a time when you can't do it. There's always uh, a way to work through into your goals and towards your success. So let's get this going. Are you ready? Two minutes. They're gonna, I'm going to cue them into which plank they're going to do. So remember all the planks we taught. Ready? Real easy, real light, and uh, let's get into 
high plank. So just walk out, just notice how they walk out. Everyone has their own style of walking out into plank and they're gonna hold this. So I am switching their planks up every 10 seconds. So now they're going to go to low plank or sphinx plank. Awesome, there's real no messing up here. These girls train all the time, so if they go into a crazy plank, it's because they've earned that, right? And now, if you can, go to extended plank. Awesome, but if you're new, you're gonna do a bent knee plank. So you're gonna bend your knees like Alex. Perfect, five seconds, this is tough. Four, three, two, awesome. Back to regular plank, beautiful. Just a few seconds, and five, four. I have my little Tabata counter timer. Three, two, back to low plank. Awesome. Breathe, 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 breathe. And let's find a side plank that's face towards the left. Let's face that, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, okay, cool, I like this too. Face whichever way you guys want. So side plank, the girls are putting their hands on their hips. Another way is to raise your arm up. Um, it doesn't matter which way you do it. For me, I like this because it shows you where to go. It teaches your body to go up. Make sure you're pushing through here. Awesome, and through your low plank to switch into the opposite side, and to go. So they're holding about 15 seconds a pop. What this is doing for, uh, for you guys besides engaging your core, burning fat, working the muscles, waking everything up, firing away at the glutes, the hamstrings, everything should be working here, is uh, buying you some much needed time. Back to a regular plank. Awesome, low or high, you guys pick, doesn't matter. Let's go with high plank, you only have uh, 20 more seconds, so back to low plank. And your last 10 seconds is a challenge, it's gonna be extended plank. And if you cannot do this, make sure that you are doing this, doing this, doing this, doing this, um, with bent knees. Five seconds here, four, this is tough, three, this is your bonus, bonus, bonus plank. This is the plank that's really hard, two, and time, awesome, perfect. So you actually held the plank for two minutes there. Um, a lot of you guys can't just get into plank and hold for two minutes. What you're actually doing is an old martial art technique and it's you're lying to yourself. You're basically completely lying to yourself and tricking your body. So um, typically you'll be in a high plank and you're like, I can't do this anymore. So instead of just stopping, what you're doing is you're switching levels, which triggers something in your brain to say, oh, the motion's changed, I can do this. You're basically buying yourself some much needed time. So hopefully you guys had fun with this little tidbit here today, the workout quickie. And if you did, please post below any comments, any questions, anything that you wanna see from us in the future. Just post below this little YouTube thing right here and we'll try to get through your comments and answer or post another clip kind of answering some of your questions. Good job, plankers. Thank you.